Hey, what's up, everybody? It's 302 Rel. I'm here, gonna show you guys an update with all my arcade machines. It's I have most of them in the garage right now, so let's take a step in here and we'll see what I got. Keep in mind that this is my garage slash storage area. It's just a single car garage and it's all filled with games and a bunch of junk in the back. So just excuse the mess that you're gonna see in the back and let's go check out the games. But before we do that, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and let's go inside and check it out. So I got to step over some bikes and everything to get back there, but here we go. I'm going to give you a little glimpse of what you're going to see. All right, so I'm just going to climb my way in between these games and get back there. And let's see what we got. All right, so we're here, we're out here. As you can see, got power wheels, lawnmower, you know, stuff like that. I didn't really clean anything up. I just want you guys to see how it is on a daily basis out here. And uh, yeah, so take a look into my arcade, garcade if you wanna call it, the garage arcade, but here we go. First up, well, let me turn the camera around and I'm gonna start with another machine. Here we go. Okay, so first up, I wanna start with my Space Invaders Deluxe. You might remember this from the $50 arcade pickup. I got this machine for 50 bucks. It wasn't working. It played blind. You could hear the game sounds, but there was no picture. What I did to fix it, basically the brightness was turned all the way down. Then when I turned it up, I could see it had vertical collapse. So I just had to change the uh, thing was a transistor on the monitor board, uh, on the monitor itself. Got that working again. I'll, I'll turn on all the machines. You'll see them all turned on in a minute. I got them turned off now just so you can hear me talking. So there's Space Invaders. Then next to it, this was the free arcade cabinet pickup. It was just an empty Dynamo arcade cabinet. The person who had it before me, they picked it up just for parts. They just wanted the monitor that came with it. So he gave me the cabinet, it was empty. I did get a control panel along with the cabinet. And the game it originally had in it was originally a Street Fighter 2 machine. And then the person then converted it to a Midway Invasion. I think it's called Invasion. It's the Midway shooter game. So down here you can see where they had the guns installed and everything. I went ahead and just bought a new control panel overlay, joysticks, buttons, the whole nine new artwork for it and inside this machine is a pandora's box so it has you know a ton of games on it that i can play i uh just took an old dell flat screen monitor i think it's like a 19 inch or 17 inch put inside of there looks pretty good then next to it is centipede this is the only game that i ever bought that was working right off the bat. Sometimes when it starts up, the uh, display is all jumbled up and everything, but then after two minutes, it goes fine. But yeah, this is the centipede. Everything about it is in, it's all original. Everything's original on it. It's in great condition. Probably like my best pickup as far as like, you know, working. I haven't had to do anything with this besides just clean it up. So, like my centipede, I'd say that's the only problem with it. A little peeling around the trackball, but it's really no big deal. Well, that and the monitor issue, but 
anyway, keep it moving. Here is Love Gift. Got this claw machine from a um, kid's arcade that was shutting down in the area. And uh, I think I paid 150 bucks for it. The claw, it could move and everything, but it kind of, when it dropped, the claw when it closed. I did a video on that. It ended up just having a loose wire up there. So that was a really easy fix. I thought I was going to have to buy like a new coil and change all of that. But when I was looking at it, it was just the wire was disconnected. So got that. Then we'll spin around over here. Picked up this uh, World Series baseball this season. It's in the uh, Williams Joust cabinet. Let's see if I can get on the other side. You'll see the artwork for Joust. There you go, there's the ostrich. And then, yeah, this game didn't work when I got it. Ended up just being a, a power supply issue. Fix that, got it up working. I like this game just because the controls are a little different. You know, that's how you swing the bat. And when you pitch, hold it back and let it go. So you can see it's in rough shape. My plans at first were to change it back to joust. So I still have plans to do that, but just been busy. And then something different. The kids like to play baseball on it. Then over here is my Nintendo cabinet, my Popeye cabinet. It's in pretty good shape. I got this one, it didn't work at all. I'm trying to think of what I had to do to get it. Well, I think another issue with the, no, this one had cables disconnected. That's all it was, like something on the inside, I had to go and follow stuff. If you look at the Popeye video, you can find out how I got it working again. It's been a while, but. Yep, this right here is like the only, you can see the cigarette burns around the player one and two. And then that little piece came off, but other than that, it's in pretty decent shape. And then next to that, I have my bootleg stacker machine. This one's called Stage Racing. It's just like the LAI stacker. But one big difference is instead of it having three levels or two levels, just the minor and major prize, this one has three. So you can set up like a middle type prize and everything. So I just got a 3DS in there, 2DS, little small helicopter. And that's like a little change purse that came from the same kids arcade. This machine I got, I think for 150 bucks, I got it from the same place that I got Love Gift. So I made out really good at that place. So yeah, the next game that you see, this is a work in progress. This was a free cabinet that I picked up from the same person. I got the Street Fighter machine from and this is a Sega club cart. So my plans with this, well, you see right now, it's just uh, got a lot of crap stored on top of it, but I got the glass and everything. I got a TV that fits perfect inside of there, a flat screen. Well, I'll probably just put a computer in there with a steering wheel and pedals, have it hooked up and just have nothing but like driving games, like emulators with all types of uh, racing driving games on it. The thing I really like about this game is I can't wait to hook up the seats because it has the speakers in the back. And I know that's gonna sound really cool. So yeah, there's one more game you haven't seen out here. And that's because it's a cocktail cabinet. And this one is Popeye. So yes, I have the stand-up Popeye and I have a cocktail version of Popeye. I'm tripping over things. So, over here, my plans with this one is just to put in like another game, another like uh, multi-board or something like that, and then be able to play a few games. 
on this machine. This is cool. It's two players, all original parts. If you watched the video where I got this, it wasn't working. The only thing that it needed was a new power supply. So I got a video where you can see where I fixed that. I got this machine and this machine at the same time. And I don't know if I got, I think I got both of these for free. All I had to do was just go pick them up. The person wanted them out the basement. So yeah, you have to watch the video that I have on these two machines and pretty sure I got them absolutely free. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's a look at all the games out here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight working games. And then this right here is a work in progress to save the club cart. So I'm gonna turn them on. That way you guys can see that they all work. Look at them. And yeah, let's do that so you guys can see. So I got up here on top of one of these machines, I got a little surge protector. Plug that in for over here. <coughs> And over here, surge protector. So now you can see the uh, Pandora's box is loading up. It's pretty loud out here with all the machines on. You can see Centipede, <coughs> excuse me, you see Centipede doing this little jumbled mess like I was telling you about. I think this one is a vertical scroll issue. So if anybody knows exactly, let me know, but here you can hear the stacker over here making noise. Baseball over here. We got pop on. Screen's kind of warming up. You can see down here, this pop eye is on also. So let's go take a look at Space Invaders. Because it's one of the coolest ones out here with the way the screen reflects off the glass in the back. See how Space Invaders works. Over here, and I've got all the different games to play. We'll start up Street Fighter, Street Fighter, oh gosh, Street Fighter Alpha 2. You guys will see in a little bit, but Centipede, it'll start up. It'll get correct itself in a little bit, but yeah, in my opinion, you're better off getting a Pandora's box, finding an old cabinet, and having a setup similar to this than going and wasting your money on one of those small arcade one-offs like they sell at Walmart. I know you guys got a lot of excuse. Oh, they're small. I don't have the space. And you know, I didn't have the space in the apartment, but I still had games there. So forget that arcade one up and just keep it original. All right. Then, all right, this isn't working. Right now, I got an error message on the love gift, but I want to come back and want to play the games at night because, you know, everything looks a lot cooler at night. So I'll have that fixed. I'm, I'm hooking up each machine I have hooked up to Raspberry Pi. I'm making a claw machine app. So could be a loose wire in there that's giving this machine that problem. Who knows? But next time I'll show you this, this claw machine will be working. Then let's go ahead and try this stacker out. Still got tokens from the arcade that closed down. It was called Hollow Blue. It was in Bear, Delaware, in the Fox Run Shopping Center. Let's see. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's see if I can win some. So there you go. Oh, man. 
pretty rigged. Okay, okay. Alright, feeling kind of lucky. Dang. Alright. So there you go, that's the bootleg stacker. And a good old Popeye. Open it up. Give myself a couple credits. All right, Popeye, I gotta, let me see, where's the test service switch? There we go. Add some coins there. You can't really see here in the daytime. See more of my reflection. Just to show you that they work. All right, so you can hear old Popeye. It's kind of hard to see with all the reflection. So while that Popeye is going, I'll show you this one over here. Alright, it's playing one handed. I don't suck that bad. Then over here is the World Series Baseball. And for this one, open it up. Throw a coin in. Let me see. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, you enter your initials. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see in the daytime, so I'll come back. I'll show all this. I'll get the claw machine working over here and everything. Look, there you go. Here's something that's working right now, a centipede. So you can see it's working. That's the one thing about having a arcade at your house. You never know what's going to go wrong, so it's better if you know how to fix them because something's always going to go wrong with these old machines. But for someone like me, that's half the fun. So yeah, it's kind of hard to play with one hand. Not trying to make excuses, but you guys know how it is. Street Fighter. And you guys might think it's a little tight in here, but actually it works out great because this works out as a pretty good seat. You can sit down right here. You can sit right here, get your game on and everything. So, yeah. There's a Street Fighter. Let's go ahead and open the door on uh, Space Invaders and add a credit. All right. One player. So with all the other machines on, you can't really hear hear the, the sounds here, but you can see it's working. I just got annihilated right off the bat. Yeah, there you go. That's a, that's a look at the games out here in the garage. During the daytime, come back at night. I'll show you what everything looks like at night. I promise I'll get this claw machine working. It acts a little funny sometimes. So I could probably turn it off and turn it on again. It would work again. I see. Anyway, yeah, fool with that later. Not right now. And let me show you the rest of the games because this is just what's in the art 
what's in the arcade. This is just what's in the garage. So there's more games upstairs in the game room. So let's go ahead and get out the garage and I'll see you back inside. Okay, so before I went inside, I just had to mess with the claw machine. All right, this is gonna be pretty annoying right now for the intro, but hopefully you can still hear me. All I did was just turn off the call, or actually all the games, turned it back on, and the error message went away. So I just wanna show you that it works. Now it works, at least. All right. So there you go. Let's see if we can grab that little brown beanie boo. This one has sound effects, so I got it turned down right now just because I'm using it for the claw app and I didn't want to have the sounds going all the time out here in the garage. But yeah, let's go ahead and play these credits, see if we can win something. But I'll go for this big blue sugar loaf pony. It's pretty rigged, just like you would expect. Like, it'll pick it up and drop it. Not saying that when I have it on my app, it's going to be rigged like that, but you guys know. Here we go. You know how these claws can be. All right, we've got one more credit. Going for that dog again. I don't know, I'm gonna go for the pony again. He's pretty big, we almost had him. There we go. There we go, we won, we won. All right, that's a good way to finish it right there. So, like I said, let's get out of the garage. I'll show you more games inside the house, so let's go. All right, guys, so. That was the garage. Now I'll show you what I have in the living room. So let me switch the camera so you can see. Okay, so now we're down here in the living room. You can see my fish. Let's take a look at the fish. You gotta excuse the mess. It needs to be clean. Tank needs to be clean. The top was pretty dirty. But anyway, we're not here for that. We're here for games. This Area 51, Site 4, you can see I didn't try and pretty things up for you guys. Let you see how it is. It's been down for a little bit. I should dust it off. You can see what my daughter put. I love Dad. So, yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but not really. The dust is embarrassing, not the message. That's the only reason I kept it. Just to show you guys, you know, that I love Dad. My daughter left. Anyway, Area 51, the monitor went out on me i had repaired it temporarily a little fix and then that stopped working so the game it plays blind so all i need is a new crt we'll get that working and it's an original mortal kombat one cabinet you can still see the midway on the side where it is there's the little logo and then we have johnny cage right there on the side so the reason why I haven't let this one go yet or try to trade it or anything like that is because eventually I'll probably just get rid of the gun games and convert it back to a Mortal Kombat because, you know, that's my era when I came up in the game. So I'd like to have Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. Or, you know, instead of 3, I get Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. But... Anyway, back to the tour. Here's the $100 claw machine that I picked up. Got this one from a chicken coop, like literally a big old chicken house that someone was using for storage. They had antique cars in there and all kinds of stuff. And then this claw machine was just sitting on a pallet. Currently have it hooked up for the online claw app. So there's one of my cameras I got down there. Just move things around so you can see. I got sensors in there for when you win a prize and stuff like that. 
You hear me mention in this app, if you want to check it out, you want to sign up for the mailing list when it goes live, go to realclaw.com and it'll have a little section where you can put your email address as soon as everything's ready. You can be one of the first ones to check it out. But yeah, I got this game. It wasn't working. Got it back working. It was just like Love Gift. There were some wires up here in the gantry that were disconnected. And you can kind of see over there where it was kind of hacked up at one point. So I just had to trace some wires and got it working again. So let me show you guys that. I got a dollar. This is my only claw or only arcade machine that has a dollar bill acceptor. So you can see it works. We'll hit start. Let's see if we can win something on camera. Let's go for, we'll go for that brown bear. All right, let's go for the black one. It's right there. That's a monkey, black monkey. There we go, we won it. I want to roll now, guys. All right, boom. So that's nightlife. So we got the machines out in the garage. So far, the only one not working is this Area 51 Site 4. And we fixed the love gift by just turning it off and turning it back on. And nightlife is still going strong. A lot of you guys asked for an update on this video, on this claw machine. So there you go. Now you can see it's up and running. And if you go to realclaw.com, you have a chance to play all my claw machines yourself. All right, so this isn't it. There's more games. I take you up to the actual game room now, and that's where the stuff like Big Choice, Cruising, and a couple other games are at. So let's head upstairs. All right, guys, just ran upstairs. Now we're gonna go up another level. Now the game room is up in my loft on the third floor. The last time I showed you guys an update I kind of of my game room, I started on the steps. So I'm going to kind of start this level off the same way. This is where I have my first arcade machine. It's a claw machine, the big choice. So that one's up there. I already got it turned on. The rest of the games I have on a Switch. So let's go up and check it out. And then I'll also show you the game room where we play all our console games and everything. So you gotta excuse the mess. I just had a day off of work. Wanted to hurry up and record this while nobody was home. I had time to run through and just show you everything. So yeah, excuse the mess. If you see things are a little dusty, oh well, you know, it's a real game room. Most people show you their rooms. Everything's perfect. There's no cables lying around. I'm not here. So yeah, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let's go up and see what we see. All right, so here we go. It's been uh, maybe two to three years since you guys have seen the game room up here. So here we go. Here's a quick little pan. That's where we do all the console gaming and stuff over there. Got a green screen up right now. This mess over here, that's where I'm working on the app due to YouTube editing and everything. So, of course, off the bat, you see the pool table. I'll use that to turn around. And now I'll show you the arcade games that are up here. We got, this was my first free pickup. It was an empty cabinet. And you see me and Mrs. 302 Rail where we stripped the paint and everything. It was all covered. It was originally an arkanoid cabinet so let's turn it into a basically a main machine so let me cut that on right now i have a, a raspberry pi in there that plays all the games and everything so got a switch over here cut everything on have some dj lights in here go on the ceiling this is another room I have to show you at night. 
So this will get started in a second. This has a, uh, I think it's a 19 inch widescreen monitor. I just tilted it vertically. So every game in here is all old school vertical games. So I have a spinner or I can switch it out with the steering wheel. So you can see I can go through the games using it. We'll start up something here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Just want to start anything. So let's just put on, let's put on Zach's. Stay in the front so you can see past the reflection. So, yep. That starts up. Next hit, we got the big toys. Got another DJ light up there. It's off. I'll turn it on just so you can see it spinning around. Doing what it does. And so over here, I can't fail to mention the virtual boy. So that's just where I got it stored at the moment. Right here is a laser light that gives you like the star field effect. I'll turn it on. Now you can see on the ceiling and everything. Looks like we're out in space playing. This is the reason why I said we have to show this room at night because it doesn't do it justice during the day. So anyway, Here's the big choice. This is my first uh, arcade machine pickup. I got this from a laundromat. I think I paid like 150 or 50 bucks or something. Here now the light's spinning, going crazy. It's a uh, moving head DJ light. So I, I used to DJ. So I got a bunch of equipment that's left over and stuff from when I was out doing gigs. So now I just use it in my arcade room. You look can't really see behind the machines I have a color strip light so it changes when the music is up loud and everything it moves to the beat so that's pretty cool so you'll see right next to the big choice and the Thomas Wade machine I got a Bose speaker set up so I have music going and then the lights everything sound activated the Machine down here, this light here on the floor, it moves to the beat as well. So yeah, real cool at night. It's like a little party going on in here. So we got the Raspberry Pi slash main machine going on. The big choice, the classic big choice, the one that started it all right here you see it's still going strong got extra cables coming out cameras mounted on the side because just like my other claw machines you can play this one online make sure you go to realclaw.com and sign up so next to that here's the thomas wave arcade machine at the moment i have a uh like i think it's 19 and 1 multi k board this is the board that i want to put in the popeyes cocktail that you saw in the garage but i just had to get a, a nintendo to jamma adapter or whatever so i can plug in this board to the cocktail cabinet and one of the reasons why is this board has joust so i was thinking of putting it in the joust machine or this one has Super Mario Brothers, where I thought it would be cool to play in the Nintendo cocktail cabinet. So I have the uh, control panel for the guns. When I first got it, it was Sammy Sports Shooting USA. And I found on eBay, I picked up one of the last new in box old stock uh, Thomas Wave fighting control panels. So. Yep, there you can see the games that they have on here, but got a few games for here. If you're new to the channel, I got uh, Sports Shooting USA for Thomas Wade, Demolish Fish, Demolish, Demolish, <laughs> Demolish Fist, Woo, that was a tongue twister, Ranger Mission, and also 
Neo Wave, the King of Fighters. So we usually keep King of Fighters inside. Next to that is the Cruising World uh, Nintendo racing game. You know, a classic. Everyone remembers this one. So this one, uh, got it and the monitor wasn't working. It played blind and a lot of other things were just wrong with as far as it was missing a second a power supply and all kinds of things. The guy I bought it from said that just the monitor didn't work. That was a lie. But as you can see, got it up and working. So it's a lot of fun to play. The uh, steering wheel moves automatically and stuff has the feedback and stuff to it. Let's see if I can show you when the race starts it'll fix it so there we go. So yeah, there's the classic cruising world. So that right there that's the rest of the arcade machine the arcade games and everything. So that will conclude the arcade tour. Now we'll move on to the game room tour. So there's the pool pool table. Still have in the corner over here the candy machine. I just took out all the candy. It's time to put new stuff in. The other stuff got old. You see all our badges from when me and the kids would go to too many games. Save them all over here. So if you know me from uh, too many games videos, there you go. Pool cues in the uh, corner. So now, here is where we do all our home console gaming. For most of the retro stuff, we got an old flat screen CRT over here. You see down bottom, GameCube, Sega CDX, PlayStation 2 with the eye camera. Got a Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast. We got. PlayStation 1 underneath. Then right over here is where I switch for all the different inputs for these games. On the side of the stand is where we store all the controllers and stuff. As you can see on that side. Up here on the countertop, you can see all the Nintendo Labo stuff that we made. And while I'm doing this, I'm just going to turn the games off. So we don't have that going on in the back right now. So anyway, there's all the Labo creations. We just keep stored up here for now. Then over here, we got a 65-inch TV. It's 4K TV. You can see the Xbox One Connect, the PlayStation, and the Wii U sensor bar. Some pictures and stuff up here. Got Johnny Cage, sign picture. Let me get that in focus. Yep, so we met him at the New Jersey Gamer Con a couple years ago. We met the Angry Video Game Nerd at Too Many Games. Got him to sign our ET. Then over here is, besides these few games up here, the rest is all Nintendo GameCube. Got to show you guys a new update on my collection. It's been four years since I've shown you my GameCube collection. I only need a hundred more games to complete it. So yeah, quick little scan through. Let me get in and focus. I'll just show you most of the games. Got a little bit of everything. Most of the classics. Here's some of the Thomas Wave games I was telling you I had. And we got still sealed in the box Tetris and Dr. Mario and Aladdin for Super Nintendo. Here's our NES game collection under some GameCube games. And more GameCube. 
More GameCube. More GameCube. In the back, this over here. This is just my network switcher for all the claw machines and cameras that's hooked up for the claw app. Keep just some old DVDs, bunch of uh, Game Boy and Game Gear games are in the bag. No real organization over here for that. Got the Game Boy printer, two printer paper things still in the box. It's the uh, lighting that we use for the green screen here when we do like live streams and the kids do review videos and stuff like that. So let me just jump on over to the other side of the games. You got in this limited run box is um, Axiom Verge for Wii U. It's still sealed in there. Got the Mario cereal. You got that when we pre-ordered the uh, Mario Rabbids game. Then the kids have signed autographs from Mr. Daniel Piscina, AKA Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Reptile, and Smoke. There's another one I went to Janessa. So over here, this is a bunch of just like random games that we have over here. Got a bunch of uh, DDR games. Forgot to show you over here next to the machine, the main machine. Got a uh, game pad that we got for free. Someone was setting it out and uh, picked that up for free. Absolutely for free. Had to drive about an hour to get it. But anyway, me and my son, if you've ever watched our uh, arcade vlogs, we always play DDR. No one ever expects us to get out there and tear it up. But we get out there and not too cool to show our dance moves. So got a lot of DDR games. The old Connect games. Here's my son's Vita games. He has a lot more in his room. A ton more. He has a ton of his Nintendo. The whole Nintendo Switch collection is basically in there. But there's his Vita. More Wii. Xbox 360 stuff. Just stuff we get when we're at the farmer's market. Remember, he picked these up for free at uh, Second and Charles. He was checking out the buns of steel. I was making fun of him. So we had to get it. It was free 99. You know, that's my favorite price. And we got other classics. Got Arch Rivals, who was signed by one of the designers at New Jersey GamerCon. I think his name uh, Brian. Somebody, I forget the last name. My bad. Got way before the SNES Mini. He had the repo part for... Star Fox 2, got our Game Boys jammed up there, a little small, little Sega, some Nintendo Switch games my daughter has stored up here, and a bunch of DS games, 3DS, all the way to Virtual Boy games, uh, let's see. My son has up here some Neo Geo Pocket Color games. Then down here is a bunch of just random uh, sports titles and a bunch of nonsense for PS2. Same with uh, Xbox. Got a few classics in there. I know you guys remember these. Sneak King, Big Bumpkin, Bumpkin, Bumpkin. Then recently started collecting for Wii U. So I only need, I think it's 47 more games. Let you guys see what we got so far. And up here. Yeah, so that's the Wii U collection. We almost have the complete set. Let me show you the game systems like the current generate. Well, continue with the old school games. We got the Nintendo console, PlayStation 3, Super Nintendo, Xbox, Game Boy Advance, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Nintendo 64, and then under it, Xbox One X and uh, or Xbox One. 
PlayStation 4 Pro. We got the VR headset and everything. And then the Wii U. So there you go. Underneath, you can see some of our PlayStation 4 games. Gotta have that big chungus. Then we got a bunch of VR games. Skullgirls is probably my favorite game to play. Favorite fighter. The best VR game. If you're going to get a VR headset, you have to get Tetris Effect. And play it with the headphones on. There's, this is the best game right here. No lie. Check that out. Then here is our Xbox One games. Just picked up Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Trying to get the hang of this. But you know my favorite. Halo Master Chief Collection. I could play this all day long. It never gets old. So there you go. That's a look. New update 2019 for the game room. Let you guys take another spin around. Oh, well, look, before I forget, yeah, here's one more shelf. The box for the SNES Classic. Some Congos for uh, Donkey Kong on the GameCube. Here's our Super Nintendo collection. Got some Famicom, Super Famicom games. N64 games. PlayStation 1. Loose Genesis games, some Atari games. And down here we got Sega CD and just random stuff. So, there you go. There's the whole game room up here. I have to come back. I'll show you at the end of this video. I'll show you what the game room looks like at night with the lights on and everything. And then I'll also take you out in the garage so you can see that so before i cut to that video just want to say thanks for watching thanks for hanging out with me all these years if you haven't been back in a while here you go here's your update that you wanted to see make sure you hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button and leave a comment if it's something you want to know or something else you want me to cover more in depth like the gamecube collection or the wii u or anything like that so yeah enjoy the next couple clips of what this stuff looks at at night and i'll see you in the next video peace Alright, let's go ahead and try this so we can stop hearing her ask for a coin. Alright, let's see what we can do.
left. Centipede. Ooh, just barely got that. I loaded up some King of Fighters. And here's Space Invaders. Alright, let's try Love Gift one more time. Now it's nighttime. Let's see if my luck will be just as good as earlier today. Uh, ah, almost. Now let's try for the big thing in the back. I think it's an owl. Alright everybody, well there you go, that's an update on my arcade collection and you got to see my game room. So make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. And yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you in another video, peace.